Hey learners, welcome back to Show Academy. Now listen carefully, this video might just change the way you study chemistry forever. Because here's the truth. It's not about how long you study, it's about how smart you study. And in IGCSE Paper 6, smart means thinking like the examiner, spotting the pattern, and writing exactly what earns the mark. So today, we're going to do something powerful. We're going to build your show brain, a rational, clear, organized way of thinking that targets mark points directly. You'll stop guessing, you'll stop waffling, and you'll start scoring full marks, question after question. Every Paper 6 investigation belongs to one of just a few types. That's right. The same style of experiment, repeated again and again, year after year, just with different labels. So, what we'll do today is, reveal the experiment categories. There are nine of them, each with a simple, crystal-clear definition. Show you the brilliant category detector ever. One smart question to identify any experiment type in seconds. And finally, we'll test your skills using real past paper examples, so you can see exactly how to use the detector and never get stuck again. So let's get straight to it. Here are your nine IGCSE Paper 6 experiment categories. Number one, solubility investigations, finding how much of a substance dissolves under different conditions. Number two, rate of reaction, measuring how fast a reaction happens. Number three, neutralization and temperature change reactions. Compare how well substances neutralize acids or how much heat is released, absorbed. Number four, quantitative analysis. Quantify the amount or concentration of a substance via complete chemical reaction. It includes titration, gas volume method, mass loss method. Number five, salt preparation. Produce pure, dry crystals of salt through acid-base reaction and crystallization. Number six, metal extraction getting a metal out of an ore. Number seven, crystallization and purity test, separating and weighing a solid to see how much it is inside without reacting with it. Number eight, displacement and metal reactivity, comparing how metals react with acid or rust. Number nine, chromatography. Identify components in colored mixtures using solvent separation and RF values. Simple? Yes. And now comes the magic. Shows Category Detector. A one-question detector. You ask just one thing, and it tells you the category. Let's try it. Are you finding how much dissolves in a solvent? If yes, it is solubility reaction. Are you measuring how fast a reaction happens? If yes, it is Category 2, Rate of Reaction. Are you seeing which acid-base combo works better or releases more heat? If yes, it is neutralization and temperature change reactions. Are you measuring gas, mass loss, or using a burette to calculate something via complete chemical reaction? If yes, it is quantitative analysis. Are you making salt crystals using an acid and a solid? If yes, it is salt preparation. Are you getting metal out of a rock ore by reacting and reducing? If yes, it is metal extraction. Are you just filtering and weighing something without reacting it? If yes, it is crystallization or purity test. Are you comparing how metals react with acid or rust? If yes, it is displacement and metal reactivity. Are you spotting colors and see how far they travel? Obvious. Chromatography. You get the idea. Ask the right question, and you'll always land in the right category. And why do I want you to detect the category? Because in the next video, I'll give you a secret formula, the exact steps to plan any investigation based on its category. No guessing, no fluff, just full marks. Now let's practice. Here are examples from real past exams. Just say the category. June 2020, variant 1, question 4. Cobalt, manganese, and nickel are metals. Plan an investigation to find the order of reactivity of these three metals. Here I'm comparing how metals react. So this is a metal reactivity experiment. June 2024, variant two, question four. They asked, describe how you could obtain a sample of bismuth metal starting with a large lump of the ore bismite. Here I'm getting bismuth metal out of an ore. This is easy, it's metal extraction. 
June 2023, Variant 2, Question 4. This one is about a metal polish, a mixture of four substances. One of them is silicon 4 oxide, which is non-reactive. The question asks, how would you calculate the percentage of silicon 4 oxide in the mixture? You might think this is quantitative analysis because they're asking for a percentage. Sadly, that's wrong. Simply because the calculation doesn't come from a complete chemical reaction. You're not reacting anything. You're physically separating. So it's a purity test. And take this rule. If acid reacts and mass changes, it's quantitative, not just purity. Now take this one. October-November 2020, Variant 2. They give you brass, a mixture of two metals, copper and zinc. And they ask, find the percentage by mass of zinc in a sample of brass. Sounds similar to the last one, right? Same phrasing. So before rushing to the wrong category and calling it a purity test, read the question carefully. They clearly say, zinc reacts with hot dilute sulfuric acid to form the soluble salt zinc sulfate. So zinc reacts. You're calculating something via a complete chemical reaction. This is quantitative analysis. Another simple one. November 2021. Variant 1. Plan an investigation to find out if a yellow sweet contains tartrazine. This is easy. It's about color spotting. It's a chromatography experiment. June 2021. Variant 3. They ask, Describe how the apparatus shown can be used to compare the amount of energy given out by three different liquid alcohols, ethanol, propanol, and butanol. Here we are measuring which reaction produces more heat. It's a temperature change experiment. November 2020. Variant 1. They give information on the solubility of three solids and ask, plan a method to obtain a pure sample of each, copper 2 sulfate, cetyl alcohol, and silicon dioxide. Ask the question, are you just filtering and weighing something without reacting it? Yes. So it's a purity test. I included this example to show you something important. Even if they give you solubility information, if they're not asking you to measure how much dissolves, it's not a solubility experiment. June 2023 Variant 3. This is a solubility test. They directly ask, determine if oxalic acid is more soluble in water or ethanol at room temperature. So yes, this is a solubility investigation. Last example. June 2022, Variant 3. The examiner asks, plan an investigation to find the effect of temperature on the rate of the reaction between solution A and solution B. Here we're measuring how fast the reaction happens. They even say the phrase rate of reaction clearly. This is a rate of reaction experiment. No, no. Now I want you to go through past paper experiments and categorize each one. Then come back to me with any question. I'm right here to help. Now this was just part one. In part two, we go deeper, because once you know which category you're in, you will be able to plan any experiment inside that category. But remember, everything starts here. Think smart, score full. See you soon.